gradient in a set form. So far, we've seen a lot of relationships, especially when we're finding them with tables of values, that y equaled some number times x plus another number. We're going to learn the significance of these numbers in terms of a linear relationship. Whatever number's in front of x is actually the gradient of the line. So it tells us how steep the line is going to be. The value over here is always the y-intercept. So if we have an equation that was y equals 2x plus 3, straight away we know that the gradient of this line is 2, because that's the value in front of x, and we know the y-intercept equals 3, because that's the value over here by itself. What about the equation y equals a third times x minus 5? Well, it's no different. The gradient is a third, because that's the number in front of x, and the y-intercept equals minus 5, because that's the value by itself. So there's no way to get the x-intercept straight from the equation, but if you do want the x-intercept, remember you can make y equal to 0 and solve the equation for x. What if we were given a, just the graph of the line, not the equation? How can we get the equation? So let's say we have this line, like this, where we know it's going through minus 1 on the y-axis, and it also goes through the point 1, 1. Remember, any straight line has the equation y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Straight away we can see what the y-intercept is. It's going through minus 1 on the y-axis. So we know we're going to have something x minus 1. How can we get the gradient? Well remember, the gradient m equals the rise over the run between any two points. So the two points we're going to use is this one and this one. And we construct a little right angle triangle and we just need to work out the distance of the rise and the distance of the run. Well it's going from minus 1 all the way up to 1 here, so that's 1, that's another 1, so the rise is 2. What about the run? That's going from 0 all the way to 1, so that distance is 1, so we know the run is 1. We also know that the gradient should be positive because it's sloping this way, not this way. If we're sloping anything like this, we know the gradient should be negative. And now we can write our full equation where the gradient is the rise divided by the run. The rise is 2 and the run is 1. And that's our gradient. We can just tidy that up a little bit because 2 divided by 1 is 2. And that becomes our equation of the line using the fact that we know that this has to be the gradient and this has to be the y-intercept. Thank you.